there's a lot of people out here giving wrong information. Yeah, like if you don't have an Equifax business profile or you don't have anything reporting on your Experian business profile, yeah. that may cause red flags because they're like, if you're in business, why don't you have any other credit accounts? Right now we can get money with right. no documentation. But right. it's gonna go. To, it's gonna get to the point where you're gonna have to have documentation to get some of this money. Now let your documentation dominate the conversation. Mm, absolutely. I'm gonna give you an example. Like for sure. example, we have a restaurant yeah. in Georgia. Yeah. yeah. And so one of our vendors is Cisco. Now I've been in the restaurant business a long time. I never tried to get a net seven or a net 14. Yeah. So they offer a net seven and they offer me a net seven where I buy my groceries today and yeah. I don't have to pay that bill for seven days from today. So mm. it gives me the opportunity to make the money yeah. and yeah. then pay them. So it's like I'm not paying money up front. Mm. That makes such a big difference in the restaurant industry for Marvin and I until now it's like, I don't have to be worried about holding on to all this food or ordering all this food and I'm not selling it and I have to pay the bill before I sell the food. Now right. I sell the food and then pay for the food. Exactly. Wow. So, you know, so that's how these grocery. So that's how a lot of businesses are doing this then. Yeah. Yes. Said, wow. And you know what? I think so many people are used to bootstrapping their businesses. Right. You yes. know, waiting to make a certain amount of money that then it didn't take a while for that to happen. And yeah. the company is essentially waiting for the company to expand the company. You know, exactly. oh, definitely. And we even got one lender for a big box re uh, retailer. So, like, okay. say you have uh, water inside Walmart, yeah. and you need, you know, time to be able to pay for the product and then let it sit on the sh shelf and sell. We have lenders that will help out big box retailers as well. Wow. Okay. You know what though? Hold on, man. Cause listen, y'all moving. Yeah, we, we going fast on this one. We about to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I cause let me tell you something. You know, being in business, it's not a lot of people that you can like have this kind of conversation with. Yes. Right? Yeah. And usually when you're talking about money, whether it's funding or expenses, PL, stuff like that. Right. You know, some people just not ready to have that type of conversation or know how to have that conversation. So that's true. Exactly. And that's why I want to make sure we man, listen, we about to get everything we can out of y'all today. So, right. right. <laughs> so here, Gloria mentioned something that I think that was key. You mentioned like a seven, uh, a net seven or uh, some other net type terms. So there are other net terms out there uh, outside of just net 30 for businesses. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. There's a lot of different net, you know. The most important thing about it is finding what your business needs right. and seeing if you can set up a vendor account with them. A lot of times they have vendor accounts, mm -hmm. but they don't tell you they have vendor accounts. We know not because we ask That's not. not. Yeah, you know, really. you have to ask those partner questions. Like a lot of people didn't know Amazon has a net 55. Yeah. Mm, right. Everybody mm. orders from Amazon. Every mm. business can use Amazon. Can yep. you imagine 55 days? You have 55 days to pay your Amazon bill. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's all. That may as well give me five more days and make it two months. But <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But that's no. But that's huge though because I'm sure you know. We, my wife and I, we went to a candle making class here in Chicago. Nice. And um, and it was amazing. But uh, and I noticed because you know just. Being in YouTube and you know, or just business owners in general, we everybody right. buys stuff, you know, from Amazon. Mm -hmm. Right. And and they were telling us a story, and they was like, "Yeah, we buy this. No, we buy this stuff all the time." And right. like you said, people spending the set, like they're buying stuff on an automatic basis almost from Amazon. Yeah. And but they're paying it right off the back when they could probably expand or scale their mm -hmm. business if they did have that 30 day window that or this 55 day window. So that's amazing. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Wow. And it's, it's a bunch of cards like that. And sometimes we get stuck on Visa, MasterCard, American Express, mm -hmm. and we forget about these other accounts mm -hmm. that may give you a little bit more time just in case you have a slow month or a slow season. Yeah. Those days start to add up. They start to count. There's a lot of people out here giving wrong information. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, and that and that's detrimental because people will follow that and it'll set yeah. them back. Yeah. There's no excuse nowadays to have bad credit. Yeah. If you are a business owner, start working on getting yourself in position to get your credit mm. on point. Because once you do that, 
the doors are open for yes. you. Yeah. You yeah. know, but they're going to slowly start to close. So they, you know, we tell people all the time, get in position because right now we can get money with right. no documentation. But right. it's gonna go. To, it's gonna get to the point where you're gonna have to have documentation to get some of this money. Now let your documentation dominate the conversation. Mm, absolutely. And you and you know what we talked and we talked a little bit about that last time. Yeah. Um, you know, on the other video, how you know and. People, some people want docs, some people want no docs, and it's like, listen, right. get yourself together first. Right. <laughs> hey, <exactly>. Right. <laughs> right. Let's start there first before we start just walk. Because then, like, because Gloria hit a, a great point. She says, listen, the doors are going to be open, probably wider, if you yeah. coming in with your stuff together. Yes. Okay. It, okay. It, can you get a business credit card without having a business? Yes. 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 All day long. Wow. Yeah. Like we we see this more than not like a lot of times all you got to do is use your name you know you mm -hmm. can use your name as the business mm -hmm. and they still will give you most banks are doing this now they'll mm -hmm. give you a business credit card as a sole proprietor mm -hmm. okay yeah. now okay what's the benefits of having a business credit card versus a personal credit card in your opinion well i think the main thing is that the debt is not showing on your personal credit Got for it. the most part so yeah. now to me that's how you totally separate yeah. you know the business expenses and the I'm business perfect. debt mm -hmm. from the yeah. personal debt because yeah. if you don't separate it sometimes it'll get in the way of you maybe getting a mortgage or yeah. buying a car because it'll appear that you have more debt than you should mm -hmm. and so you know i don't always agree with the sole proprietor uh type of structure yeah i like llc's and c corps yeah. but whatever you got to do to keep it separated from your personal because yeah. what happens with most business owners they either write off too much or they seem like they have too much debt and it's all over the place and it's hard to separate when they you, commingle correct they, exactly they too much commingling there are so many things that we don't realize the small things that could really just change everything in our business so you're saying that they could do it as a sole prop. Is there any other documentation uh, you think that's needed uh, for that application process or, or will they ask for like income or anything like that to get that business credit card without a business? Well, once again, this always goes back to credit score. You gotcha. know, credit score kind of dominates everything. Yeah. So the higher the score, the less documentation. Like I actually just got off the phone right before this interview with a Chase banker. And he was like, Marvin, look, as long as it's under 100, they don't have to have as much documentation. He said, if I was a business owner, I would do the same thing right off as much as I can. But it hurts you. It kind of keeps you to me. It keeps you in a box. It yeah. does. You know, it, you can get stuff up to 100, but anything over 100, yeah. you need documentation. And you were asking about what documentation yeah. as a as a uh, sole proprietor. The only thing you really going to have pretty much is bank statements, because yeah. that's the only way you're going to be able to prove that you have income, maybe a business license, you know, th that you could do. But I think it's just so much better to upgrade to an LLC or a C Corp. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and majority yeah. of the time with the credit card, they're not asking for a document, depending on where you're going. Yeah. They right. don't ask for many docs like that. If you're going to like some of the bigger banks like Chase and Bank of America, you can get a credit card and yeah. as a sole proprietor. And it's not a big, you know, deal where you gotta show a lot of documentation. Right. Got right. you. Got you. That lead, okay, let, I got another question now. With a lot of these banks that you all are using and funding strategies and options right. and things of that sort um are you have you guys seen any recent changes as to like what they're requiring between low doc no doc or has everything been about the same lately no i i've seen it tighten up yeah. i mean we actually got calls uh like for example truest bank now it seems like every other application they may ask for tax transcripts mm. also they're even looking at the business credit profile like if you don't have an Equifax business profile or you don't have anything reporting on your Experian business profile, yeah. that may cause red flags because they're like, if you're in business, why don't you have any other credit accounts? And right. some of those accounts could be vendor accounts. Doesn't have to be yeah. NASCAR, Visa or American Express, but they're looking like if you're in business, they're expecting you to have different vendor accounts. Yeah. Got it. Tightening yeah. up the screws a little bit. Yeah. That's what I was yeah. saying. You know, yeah. before, you know, these banks, they're they're taking losses. 
and they're mm. tightening up the screws. So you're not going to be able to go and just say, hey, I have a business. Can you give me 50,000? Right. Okay, show me that you have a legitimate business. Right. 